that I found and decided to do a little report on is Evelyn Boyd Granville. She attended and graduated high school as a valedictorian of her class um, in Washington, D.C. And she went to Dunbar High School at the time that it was segregated. She was born in 1924. Evelyn Boyd Granville came from a modest background. She was raised by her mother and her mother's sister, so her aunt, <laughs> and her father was a janitor. Being raised by strong, independent women must have rubbed off on Evelyn because there is a very long list of accomplishments for this woman. Some of her accomplishments are surviving segregation and persevering into college after high school. I don't know if I would be able to do that. She was also the second African-American woman to earn a PhD in mathematics, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, she double majored um, with math and with physics, and she graduated from Yale in 1946. Evelyn Boyd was elected to Phi Beta Kappa, which I had to Google, and I found out when I Googled it that she shared membership with the likes of Condoleezza Rice, uh, William Howard Taft, Jeff Bezos, and FDR, Franklin D. Roosevelt. So it's a pretty elite, pretty elite uh, scholar, scholar club. Pretty, pretty hardcore. Uh, Evelyn Boyd Granville worked as an applied mathematician for four years at Diamond Ordnance Center, which I believe was the most was most famous for developing um, the proximity fuse, which is used in detonating explosives. So she's pretty cool. Um, then on to one of my favorite parts. She had a strong interest in astronomy, which I do also. And she made calculates during satellite launches, as well as worked for space programs, programs such as Project Vanguard, and Mercury and U.S. Space Tech and the Apollo program. She worked for the North American Aviation Space and Information Center and she developed computer procedures um, and analyzed orbits. She worked on trajectories to launch spacecrafts into orbit and she also did a lot of work on numerical analysis and techniques and other techniques. To my surprise, and with that many amazing accomplishments, Evelyn Boyd actually didn't go to school to work in the space field. She went to school to be a teacher. <laughs> yeah, um, her passion for teaching math uh, brought a lot of enrichment to her life, as well as the lives of her students. Um, she taught at California State, she taught at the National Science Foundation Institute. She taught at the University of Southern California. Hang on, the list goes on. She taught at the Texas College, University of Texas, and received an honorary doctorate at the Smith College. She was the first woman to receive the honorary doctorate as a black woman. So that's pretty cool. Um, to top it off, Evelyn Boyd Grant Granville. She wrote two books uh, that I could find anyway. There might be more. One of them was her autobiography and it's titled My Life as a Mathematician. And another one she wrote in partnership with Jason Frand and they wrote together a textbook titled Theory and Application of Mathematics for Teachers. See, so teaching was her real passion. Um, most of the information that I extracted for this little report on Evelyn Boyd Granville. Um, I got from the internet from uh, www.math.buffalo.edu. The title um, is Black Women in Mathematics, Evelyn Boyd Granville, accessed on 4 2021. A secondary source that I used um, was titled Evelyn Granville, American Mathematician. That was written by Eric Gregerson 
accessed on 42621 from Britannica.com backslash biography backslash Evelyn-Granville.